Hello, my name is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Transformers Armada Smokescreen. And this guy is uh, not a great toy, but a fantastic nostalgia for me. Right here. Um, I remember watching the episode this guy showed up in, and I'm being like, oh my god, this guy is so cool. Um, it was second grade, actually. And, like, the week that this guy appeared in the episode, my a friend of mine actually had the toy. And it was like, I hated this kid's guts because he rubbed it in my face. Like, I got this guy, ha <laughs> ha. And no, you can't see him in a robot mode. No, you can't touch him. It was really irritating because I'd bring in my other stuff and let other people use it. Yeah. But then, like, uh... My mom and I went to Walmart, and then they didn't have it. We called KB Toys. They didn't have it. We had a friend that worked there. And then next day, I returned my Optimus Prime because he didn't work the way he was supposed to. The electronics didn't work. I got a second one. The electronics still didn't work. But when I was there, this guy was on the shelf, and I had to have him, and I begged my dad, and he said, sure, why not? Then I yelled at our friend that worked there because he said he didn't have it. So, yes, that was that my awesome story about this guy. I like. I know, like, if I look at my collection, I know like where every Transformer came from and who they are and the story behind him. And you know, some of that stuff, you know, the movie stuff, I could care less about. Uh, some of the stuff is neat. Um, most of it, I really could care less about. This stuff, this stuff is neat. I like this. So. He is a crane type whimsical truck here. Comes with lift door, by the way, Minicon. We'll look at this guy in a minute. So this guy has like this like radar dish thingy here. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. He's got a Minicon port here. Kind of useless where it is though in vehicle mode. It, I guess it supports this so it doesn't you know hang down, which is okay. He's got a crane. It's got a little bit of movement here. Uh, he's got a uh, Front wheels rotate, back wheels will rotate around one axle, which is interesting. Um, it used to, I think I stripped the gear. I was playing around with this earlier, and I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. If you move this, uh, slide this over, it actually enters a gear system, which used to, if you drove this forward, theoretically, but if you drove it forward or move these wheels, this uh, thing here would retract and pull in this cable, which is kind of neat, right? So put it back this way, the wheels spin freely, and this spins freely as well. And then I just clip this on here just for fun of it so I don't get a tangle around on here. So that's that. It's a pretty cool little gimmick. Um, yeah. So I'll talk about the Minicon real quick. So the Minicon's this, like, super jazzed up forklift, lift door. It's kind of neat. Nah, I think this is actually one of the more articulated Minicons. Um, the wheels don't spin particularly well anymore, but they used to spin better. Let's so transform this guy. Basically, pull down the legs, fold down the edges here. Fold down the arm, fold these back, like this, and fold this back. And then if you want, you can fold these back or forward, it doesn't really matter. And his head actually rotates, that's neat, that's rare. And he had all this posability, a Minicon, so I thought the Minicon was cool. Anyway, put him back in vehicle mode for a second, and we'll show off the what he does for smokescreen. Now, theoretically, if he combined on a regular Minicon port, he would just jazz up his strength or energy, basically. But sometimes, depending on the Minicon port and figure, clips on, activates a weapon. In this case, when you put it on, it allows you to slide this whole thing forward, 
and a giant gun pops out. I tend to slide it back because this way it just looks too large. This way, a little bit better. And then it's got a missile launcher in it. Um, I've since I probably still have the missile somewhere. I just don't know where it is. So this is out. Um, with enough force, you can actually still do that. It hasn't broken in all the years I've done that, so. So to transform the actual figure here, we want to pull these door things forward. Not really doors, panels. Pull the whole waist down. Slide these out. Forward. Forward. Out. Out. Down. Rotate this around. This is cool because if you turn this, his head turns. So that's neat. That's always cool. Um, put the waist up. Unpeg the feet or legs and turn them and pull out uh, those. And there you have him in robot mode. And he honestly does not stand up hardly at all. I I messed around with this guy for like 30 minutes earlier and I could not get him to stand up on his own. And you know what? I don't even remember standing up on his own when, as a kid. I just played with these guys, and they were awesome for it. So, as a toy, as memory, I think this guy is great. As a collector's piece, probably not. So, you got some neat little gimmicks? Yeah, I'll give it that. Um, collector piece? Eh. Uh, if you got a figure stand, maybe. Or maybe sturdier figure that hasn't been played with about a billion times. Maybe. Anyway. It's neat. I like him. He's got this little communicator radar thingy on his arm. He's got another minicon port here on his arm. Which works for any of those minicons with the like, special weapon type things. Like this one has these forklifts. So I guess you could use this to stab out at enemies. Like whoosh, sling. If you have any questions about smokescreen, please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about the character or the mold, it doesn't matter. Minicon even. Again, doesn't matter. I'll answer them for you. If you have any requests, requests for video reviews, also post a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, as far as a uh, toy, I say if you want to give your kid this guy, I say go for it because he's awesome. Um, I did, however, cry as a kid when he died. I, you know, second grade. Actually, I might have been in third grade when he died. I don't know. He got killed and eventually got rebuilt into hoist. Or they still call him smoke screen. But anyway, I just, like, did not like that episode. I thought it was just depressing. <laughs> anyway, I watch it now and I'm, like, still choked up a bit. Like, oh my god, because it's such a dramatic death, too. And he doesn't actually die, but still, it's dramatic. Love it. think that's one of the highlights of the episode. They really made you care for this character. And, yep, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Recommend it as a toy, not so much as a collector's piece. Love, you know what? Kind of like to see this in a classics version with some posability. Then again... They'd probably do it wrong these days, so maybe not. Still be neat. That said, see ya.